I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News update. Thanks for joining me. The Right Honorable Baroness Annalee of St. John's has been named the new Foreign and Commonwealth Office Minister for the Overseas Territories. Her responsibilities include all the FCO business. Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin congratulates Baroness Annalee on her appointment and says he looks forward to working with her to address areas of common interest and continue to improve the United Kingdom's understanding of our aspirations and priorities. She replaces James Dudridge under the leadership of new UK Prime Minister Theresa May. Well, the next general elections is set for May of next year, 2017. However, elections officials and personnel has much work to do to ensure all goes smoothly. Supervisor of Elections Wesley Howell says they've been focusing on registration up to this point, and by all indications, the number of registered voters will surpass prior figures. Now it's time to get everyone trained for the new one-man, one-vote system. And we'll also be sharing information as to which um, electoral districts persons are in, um, how they go about um, casting their vote, where candidates will run, how, what, you know, th those sorts of details. So hopefully when we leave their homes, they're, they're much more aware of what the process is and then um, be able to then uh, engage their, their political hopefuls uh, once they start doing those, their door-to-door -door exercises as well and be informed as to what questions they need to ask um, so that they're satisfied and informed as voters. In other news, female inmates at Her Majesty's Fairbanks Prison have completed the Sycamore Tree Project. Prison chaplain Kathy Gomez facilitated the program for 19 inmates in both Northwood and Fairbanks. The Sycamore Tree Project is a prison fellowship international program based on restorative justice, bringing offenders and victims together to restore broken relationships. Those relationships may be with oneself, family members, friends, neighbors, or even strangers. Now, the inmates held celebrations for completing the program at both prisons recently. A press release says the prison service continues to offer programs and opportunities to prisoners to en enable them to make changes in their lives in preparation for returning to life outside the prison system. Well, if you missed our news update today, you can get all the details on our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. Don't forget to tune in to Radio K-Man's talk shows. That's For the Record and Talk Today, week mornings and weekdays. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining me. Hopefully, we'll do the same again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.